Hi guys and welcome to Sisters in the City with me, Anna Bikili. And me, Mandy Bikili. We are back today with an episode I sent on Instagram saying, who... No, what did I say? It was my idea. Yeah, it was your idea. She actually came up with an idea. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> I put on Instagram, what is the one thing that you've done that made you question your own character? Yeah. It was a really good one. Where did you I get know, that? I know, but I can't think of anything that I've done that made me question my character. Because you're so perfect. No, man. honestly, I can't. Uh, there are a few for me. Maybe when you say yours, it will remind me. There are a few for me, I'm not going to lie. So anyway, I've got loads in. Really? Yeah, loads. So I thought we'd go through them. Well, but before we, away. No, before we go through them, I thought I'd just check how you are, Mandy. Awful. Honestly, so <laughs> depressed. Oh, wow. Honestly, so how can you not be depressed? It's raining every day. It's People horrible. are dying mm. every day. Babies in Gaza. And the whole world doesn't even realise. Yeah. The parliament voted against a, a ceasefire. Fire. I mean, what planet am I on? Like, I'm basically, This is hell. It's mad, isn't it? What, I there's feel a like... philosopher that said that, you know, what if we are another planet's hell? That's amazing. We are another planet's hell. Yeah, but then we're not really going through hell, if you know what I mean. Like, what we're going through on this planet isn't hell. What other people are going through is hell. And it's yeah. sad. That shit makes me so sad when I think, like, how just being born in the wrong place... Yeah. Is, is just basically your life. Like, life is doomed. Yeah, the people that are living in Congo, Sudan, Gaza, Syria, Iraq. I can't even believe there's people that actually voted against us. I can't even believe there actually people that exist. Mm -hmm. Anyway. And today when I took the dogs out for a toilet, I got talking to my neighbour. They're like a couple who are like really old, like maybe 80-year-old, proper like English um, couple. And they were, like, completely pro, like, Israel. Really? Yeah, completely. And and then I realised why. Because they really only have... Their only source of information is television and newspaper. And it's such when that's propaganda. your only source of, informa source of information, which is the media is basically owned a lot by people that are pro-Israel or part of Israel, how are you going to get any other side... Yeah, what we're seeing on social media is completely different to what they're showing on the news... Yeah, and we got into it a little bit, but like, obviously he's my neighbour. I don't want to, you know, yeah. create awkwardness. Mm -hmm. But I just thought, wow, the power of the media mm -hmm. is mad. I know, right? Um, but yeah, other than that, like, yes, you're right. The weather's terrible. Like, you know what? Like I said, I'd rather the, the cold weather than the rain because the rain is just like the worst. Like, you can't go out. Yeah. And then you just go on Instagram and I feel like everyone's on holiday. Everyone's in Dubai yeah. or like... Every influencer is fucking a rich guy. Because, <laughs> and they must be. Because otherwise, how are they living that life? Like, what happened? <laughs> and I was like, I swear my life used to be like that. <sighs> like, always, like, away. Like, going to dinners. Like, what is going on? Like, <laughs> when did I become so basic? Well, at least everyone that's, like, going through the same thing as us, when they listen to us, they can relate. Like, better. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we're so far from that influencer life now. Like, why are we so far from it? I was watching some girl's story. And she was like... In the morning, she went for a run with her friends and then she went to Pilates and then she went to like for a massage and to the spa. And then in the evening, she went for a fine dining with her girls. And I was like, where is this money coming from, bro? <laughs> like, is that Dubai money? Like, no, she's living her best what, life. What if they're like working extra hard? This bitch isn't working, bro. Trust me, I know. <laughs> and I was just like, what's going on? Like, why are we not Why are we that stuck that in the rain? <laughs> it looks like it's midnight and it's like the first thing in the morning. It's like dark gray. and gray outside. Honestly, it's miserable here. I feel like no wonder how, like, how much of the population is on antidepressants. Yeah, no wonder. Sorry. Literally everyone who lives around me is, like, on antidepressants. Mm -hmm. Maybe but, I should try them. <laughs> but, yeah, other than that, we're going to try and stay positive. I'm looking for, like, next year to be a year yeah. where I've got my shit together. Because this year, I feel like I've been falling apart. You really drew this into my mind and I'm going with it yeah. now. I'm manifesting 2024, it. the year where we, you know, I've got my shit together. I'm not going to be addicted to junk food. You know, yeah. I'm going to be, like, Clean the system. healthy, mm -hmm. detox, like, yeah. working extra hard. I just feel like today, I was thinking, I'm 31 years old. What the fuck do I have to my name apart from you guys? Like, what do I have? <laughs> Honestly, I don't even have a car. Like, I don't have a license. What do you mean? That, like the fact that you have got our besties or the people that listen or and you've got this podcast is huge. We've actually been consistent with it. In January, it'll be two years that we've done it and it's one year one. of visual. Yeah, I know that's mad. Um, and you know what? I saw this thing, yeah? And it was like this woman said, Muhammad Ali said, like, 
he was the greatest before he was the greatest. And you have to tell yourself you're the greatest. Mm -hmm. So I just want to say, we're the greatest. (laughs) (laughs) We're the fucking greatest. We're the best at what the fuck we do. We're the greatest. I mean, we're not really on the top charts at the moment. But, you know, people cannot see (laughs) our potential. (laughs) But you know what? We've actually been, what I find amazing is that we've actually been consistent with it. Like, yeah. we've never ever in our lives been consistent with anything. Anything. Like, literally nothing. We've never been consistent with our diets, our no. healthy lifestyles, our exercise. Uh, like, if we want to do uh, take up reading, we've never been consistent with it. Our work, we've never been consistent yeah. with it. N- nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Relationships, you know, Anna's been through so many. We've yeah. never been consistent with anything. No. And I always thought, if, you, if somebody cannot control what they put into their mouth food-wise, mm-hmm. then they can't control any part of their life. But I realise that's a lie because I can't control what I put in my mouth. Yeah. But I can control doing this every week. But you can't control what you put in your mouth and you can't control what you put out your mouth, Mandy. That's one, one oh, thing. Oh, that was a good... That was witty of you. Yeah. yeah. I was like, you're, am I rubbing off on you, Anna? She's pretty... Yeah, she's witty. can be funny sometimes. <laughs> She's not the only funny one. Everybody comments saying Anna's funny. <laughs> That's all it is. All our videos. Uh, I know. Mandy love Mandy. Mandy's so funny. <laughs> Man, want a friend like Mandy. I'm just here like, hey. <laughs> yeah, but it wouldn't work if it wasn't both of us. Yeah, I know. That's what you always say to make me feel better. <laughs> No, but it's the truth. What would I be doing here on my own? No, I'm joking. I actually don't need you to tell me that to make me feel better oh. because I actually, I'm okay with it. Like, <laughs> you can have the limelight. I don't want it. I don't have the limelight. You can have it. As in like, I'm good where I, I, I'm happy. There's no Anna. Well, Mandy is no Mandy, but Anna. Because True, like, know. there's no, there is, isn't it like, usually duos are like that though, you know that? Yeah. In comedy as well, mm-hmm. there's always one that's like, think about it like, like in you, The Hangover, there's that one Bradley Cooper, who knows what the fuck's going on, and he's like very together. And then there's like you're the, the fat short guy who's like doing stupid things, but he wouldn't work because well, you need the kind of like put together I'm one. Sure, there's more than two of them in that. Yeah, but I'm giving an example like yeah, the yeah. dynamic. Yeah, or, it's like Keenan and Kel. Yes, you're you Keenan know, loves oh, Aaron Soda, yeah, the tall like skinny one. But That's no one knows Keenan and Kel is unless you're yeah, really we're, old. We're old. We're well. old as fuck. Um, but it's always like that in duos. There's always one that's like, stop it, you. And that one's like. Ah. Yeah, I mean, look, no one understood it when I was in Love Island as well. Everyone was like, why is, as soon as I came out of Love Island, we were together all the time, doing everything together. We had edits together straight away. Everyone was so confused. Like, everyone just doesn't understand. Why are they doing that? Like, your sister's couch chasing, or like, why yeah. is she I don't know. Right but they didn't realize that we were always like this. We've always been like this, and we're always going to be like this. It's just where we are. We're stuck yeah. to each other's ass we can, in an unhealthy way. We can't argue healthy and us. stuff, but I think arguments are healthy. Do you know, like, um, if we got into like an argument like that time like last week we had a podcast after a podcast we went to a bit of an argument and then I went home and I, was, I just got into a bit of an argument like um, to change a bit I was like and I think I'm a really bad person I'm starting to think maybe I am I never said do no. you <gasps> no I never said she, I said, never said you said I'm a bad person I said she. Th- it's like the way she speaks it's like I am a bad person because like no that's how it feels though when you're pointing out like but you make me feel like this you make me feel like that I start feeling like okay maybe I'm a really bad person and then um, well, I definitely don't think you're a really bad person. Sometimes Far I do, from. I, I think you're got, to you. I always say you got the best heart. Aww. Anyway, I um, he's like laughing. He's like, "Car, love you too, man." Saw it out in five minutes. You're the biggest joke, yeah. <laughs> and then he's like, "You're a cunt." Even your sister thinks you're a cunt, yeah. <laughs> I like. I'm just laughing. I'm like, shut up. Anyway, when I says called you, we sorted it out. And then what the fuck was I even talking about right now? <laughs> about us fuck? having arguments. <laughs> I mean, you having arguments. Oh, this healthy, is what I was going to say. Unhealthy. Yeah, when he said, oh, you're a cunt, even your sister thinks you're a cunt, yeah. I was like, imagine being best friends with your sibling, mm-hmm. having a business with your sibling, and seeing your sibling all the time because of like other work, like content or whatever. Like, all free. We don't just see each other for leisure or chilling on a weekend. We see each other for two types of like different kinds of work. Like... You're going to argue more than the average sibling, though. And we don't even. No, we don't. Hardly. Yeah. Very, very rarely. But I was like, imagine, to Gingerbread, I was like, imagine you had this going on with your sister. Like, you had to see her all the time for other stuff as well. Yeah. They, people... You'd be at it. Yeah, because we're very similar, me and you. Yeah. We are very, very, very similar. Um, But, I mean, I was going to say something, but I forgot what I was going to say. What is it called? My brain. brain fog. <laughs> brain blankness. <laughs> I hate that. It keeps happening to me, yeah? Yeah, because you talk so much and then I think of I'm going to say something and then by, by the time you finish what you were going to say, I've forgotten what I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes but, I forget what I was going to say because I talk so much and it takes me somewhere else. I remember what I was going to say. I mean, yeah, we don't, we don't, I don't think we argue as much as like maybe other siblings would argue if they had the kind of relationship that me and you have. I mean, up until last year, me and my sister 
Well, me and you. <laughs> I started thinking, is there another sister? <laughs> me and you were sharing money. Like, we I had know. one bank account up until last year. That's very strange for some 31, 32-year-olds to be sharing money, sharing underwear, sharing he- but everything. But I would still share. I, was, I would still share. If I was suddenly making, like, a ridiculous amount of money, I'd be paying half my sister's account every month. We're Help just my, like, yeah. we and, you, and I would and... never even expect it back. But it's because, like, we're both trying to, like, sort of, like, build ourselves right now mm-hmm. again. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. We're not in a position where we're, like, balling. Mm-hmm. Um, but if I won the lottery and it was, like, a million pound, I'd put half in yours. If I won it and it was two million, I'd put half in yours. Okay, like, I wouldn't so even... Cute. I would never not. Um, but anyway... Yeah. How did we get into... How did we even get into me and you? But there's siblings that, like, one of them's, like, a multi-millionaire and then the other one's, like, broke. I don't know. There's like celebs out there that yeah. are like super, super rich and their families like are living in council yeah. estates. I know. Which is mad. Um, <sighs> anyway, guys, like what else? I'm planning, I'm trying to plan Ginger Beer's 30th. I don't know if he deserves it and I don't know if I should. But it's just like so much pressure. I was thinking about you, yeah? You did so much for Cow's Lick's 30th, yeah? I spent so much money and you guys weren't even like... Well, we were. We were together. <laughs> yeah, I did all that. If you listen back to my last year's podcasts, last, I'm talking last year before, around March time, I made, did all that for his 30th. Got him catering, cake, everything, like the decor, like the balloons, the screen, everything. I remember even for Christmas Guys, as well. Three years, three, three years, three days after, <laughs> three days, he, um, we, we broke up. He... Didn't give a fuck. He this is why for like most men, I ain't shit. And do you know what? It's so mad because Gingerbit does so much for me, which I don't talk about because it's just weird and like people listen and they're nosy. But like he does so much for me, but still the side of me like, the more you do and in a way for a guy, the more you give. Mm-hmm. It's like the more... 100%. They, they don't fancy you as much. They don't love you as much. No, they don't, they don't really appreciate that much. No. It's like, it's weird. Lot, the first Christmas and birthday and then the second Christmas and birthday for Kowsdick I did so you much did so much whereas like this year not that much and like Christmas I'm thinking no. to get in the smallest thing because I'm like you know what you don't appreciate it yeah. why should I you don't appreciate but it I, you know that word unappreciative and ungrateful is like the main two words that Gingerbread calls me so I can't ever use them really like, I've got it on my forehead I literally have to hold a sign really every argument calls me unappreciative ungrateful unappreciative ungrateful these two really? things yeah it's driving me mad so I can't, I can't say like I don't want to do it for you because it's unappre- you're, you're, you're unappreciate it. You won't appreciate it. I don't want to do it because yeah, because they won't appreciate it. That's why. Because they won't know, recognize. Like I get what you mean. Well, look, on Saturday last week, but you shouldn't do things for someone for them to appreciate. It. You should just do it out of love. Yeah, but then it gets to a point because that's what I did for so long. I was doing things for the cows, lick, like you know, Christmas and birthdays, going out, going all out, going extra, and then like you know, cooking for him, cleaning for him. And then when you when you don't when you feel like you're not being appreciated and that person doesn't care, like gives you less of a shit the more you do, you do less. It's just natural. Yeah. Um I mean, but at the same time I'm trying to be like, you know, fair. So he took me out on the weekend last weekend for a date night after ages. So this week I cooked him two dinner two late like dinner meals. That's really good. Yeah. Rewarding but, good behavior. But then as soon as I do the rewarding, it's like he starts taking the piss again and being yeah. a bit, you know, Horrible. That's what I so it's think. like, it's a cycle. Yeah. So that's what I think. So I feel like if I do all this and I go all out, it's like Ginger Beats kind of mentality is like, wow, she's so whipped. Like she's so in love. Like she's so obsessed with me. Like, let me just lay back and relax and do what the fuck I want. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. It's like, I don't know whether it's a fucked up male thing yeah. or whether this is just unhealthy, man. Because just... I feel like it's unhealthy because there are relationships that are 100%. both like, both partners are like, nurturing, they go all out, they do, like, they make sure that they're doing extra to make yeah, that person feel special. Are, how much, I don't know, I don't, I ain't seen none, I don't want none of these relations, bro. If you're one of these couples, come do a meet and greet because yeah. I ain't seen nobody like yeah, that. Yeah, they're all on Instagram. I've actually seen anyone properly like that. Yeah, for, like, in real life. No, It's I all haven't. on Instagram. And I don't fucking believe anything on Instagram. That's like Israel. I don't believe anything. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah, not true. trusting. Yeah, you can't trust Instagram. So, but it looks so believable on no, Instagram. No, I don't believe it. You see these men, they're like, what I do for my girlfriend when she's on her period. Oh, I don't believe it. And then they wake up and then they make these up breakfast. These Instagram couples, TikTok couples, and then the day, like, money is a massive motivator. Of, like, do you know what I mean? So, a lot of the times, I feel like a lot of these couples even stay together because of their influence and clout that they mm. have on Instagram and TikTok together. Like, they're actually together because... 
they know they can't make it without each other. Like, that's mm. how sad it is. I think maybe we're being really, like, negative. No, I'm, I definitely don't I think, think I am. Maybe there are must be couples out there. There must that are. be. Yeah, there must be. But, like, I mean, I, I just... Put think, it in the comments, guys. Are you I, in a healthy, loving, nurturing relationship from both sides? Please let us know. Do you know, <laughs> like, this woman, what's her name? The Sprinkle Sprinkle, the, probably the most toxic, like, TikToker, yeah? She's, like... She said, what did she say? She was like, if you, all these women, like, they want to be loved. They want to be loved. Like, if you want to be loved, stop loving him. Like, as soon as you stop loving him is when he's going to be so in love with you. Like, don't love him. Like, if you actually could turn... Like, every guy who's been so obsessed it's is fucked. when... It's, it's fucked, but it's true. Every time a man's That's been so true, obsessed Maddie. is when, like, you don't really give a fuck about them. When you care and love and give... It's like they don't. It's like there's less, less, less. You can't not love them. You just, I get what she means, but I think that's the wrong wording. Like, don't love them and they'll love you. No. You can't she control means, that anyway, no. What she means is, look, I love cow's lick, right? And he loves me. But I feel like since, like, if I'm a little bit less, like, showing it, like, yeah. I'm less obsessive with him and less... Expressive. Expressive is the right word. Less expressive, less nurturing and all this stuff. He's more. Yeah. So that's what they mean. Because like, otherwise, I love him, he loves me. Yeah, 100%. And like, before we broke up, I don't know if he, to be honest, if he loved me then. (laughs) But all I can say is I definitely loved him more. So it's like, it's weird. It's all power dynamics and shit. It's all complicated. she also said like, all... This TikTok also says she, all women want is love. Like, they want to be loved. But because women haven't been able to receive that kind of unconditional love from men, they've re- replaced that love with materialism. Because when you meet someone who's like spoiling you or providing for you or setting you up for life, you know that's like something you can rely on. That's always going to stay the same. And like, if they don't love you, fuck it. Everything yeah. else, you know you're going to have comfortably. But... A lot of women who are falling in love with men just based on love, like their feelings change or they're not reliable, they hurt them. So like that's why this shift in like women who are gold diggers, not giving a fuck, just using and abusing men because... They come to a realisation that... Where moment. like, where's the love getting me? It's just, it's depleting me. Mm-hmm. I'm giving, I'm giving, I'm not getting anything back. Yeah, it's sad though, isn't it? I'm getting violated. Because they're the good men out there, which there are. They are, get, 100%. They suffer because of... The other men. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 100%. Then, that is so spot on because there are some amazing men out there yeah. that don't even have a chance. Yeah, I, I agree. Well, should we start going on to um, the things that have made people question their character? Yes. Let's go. Let's do it. I was really interested like when I was reading all really? these. Yeah. So like I had a lot of these and the main one that I had was obviously affairs. A lot of people sent that in. The amount of people that said, like, had an affair with a guy for two and a half years who has a wife and kid. Now, looking back, I know we were in love, but I definitely regret it now. I was young at the time. So many people said that. Like, would it make you question your character? 100% it would make you question your character because doing something like that is... It's so weird, isn't it? I feel like when you are young, it's not an excuse, and I've never done it, but I feel like when you are young, it's definitely something that can be done. Have you never done it? No, I've never been with a married... Never. Unless unless I didn't know about it, but I never have. I don't think that's because I'm just this amazing human being. I just think maybe it didn't happen for me. I was, you know, I've always been in like loads of relationships and it just never happened for me. But maybe I have and I didn't know. I have. But you know what? The fact that they don't even come into my mind as something that questioned my character, that's trying that's making me question my character. Why <laughs> did it come into my mind? Yeah. I just thought it's something that happens when you're young and you're it's dumb. not though, it's not nice, is it? It's, and I heard I, I know Horrible. you would never do that now. No. Because I know, but it's like weird when you're young, you don't firstly, I think one thing that makes you not do that is you yourself being either married or being in a very, very serious relationship. Yeah. That makes you feel like I would never ever want that to happen to me. And you kind of have that feeling of being yeah, the girlfriend yeah, yeah. or the wife. Yeah. So when you haven't experienced that, you don't really understand it. 100%. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, until... You, yeah. Because now I would never do it because I know how it feels like to be the girlfriend or the wife and I would never want it to happen to me. So I'm trying to think, like, how did I justify it in my own head? Like, back I remember in the day. you used to say, if it's not me, it'd be another girl. Yeah, that's what I was just about. That was way back when I remember yeah. who that was. But, like, you can't say that. Because I'd rather it be another girl than me. Yeah. I don't want to participate in this, like, bad, bad... It's like drug dealers that say, oh, 
if it ain't me selling them the the weed Drugs, or the coke, someone else. someone else will do it. Like, that's but what... you're participating in that pain. Do you know what I mean? In creating someone else's pain. And yeah, imagine if it happened. Imagine if like someone did that to me. I fucking I beat that bitch up. Like I will kill a bit. But you know what? There was a situation that I didn't feel that thingy about it. I think when it was like arranged kind of marriage. I get what you mean. But even then, it's wrong. No, because basically, you know, like, especially, you know, Middle Easterns and they Asians, they're in marriages that were set up by their parents and they can't get out of it and they're stuck. Yeah. Because it happened to a lot of our friends, yeah? And, like, the woman's not happy, the man's not happy. But they can't leave. But they can't leave. Like, and it's one of those things, like, the wife probably knows. That 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 was one of my situations where I wasn't even that young. It was, like, four years ago and three years ago. And... It was like, with, they both were, like I've seen messages where they were like basically speaking like they were separated, yeah? Mm. But they were still officially married. Yeah. But they were like basically separated, but they had to still live in the same house. And they because both... Because of the pa- parents. Yeah, and she kind of would know that mm. he's kind of doing his thing. Mm. So in that case, I didn't feel that bad. But when I look back at before that, but, when I was yeah. really young, I feel guilty. But even that, you know, like I feel like we should stop normalizing that yeah. in the Middle Eastern communities and stuff. Like, 100%. We think that it's okay because, you know, that's an arranged marriage and they don't want to be together. Just grow some fucking balls and get out of that that's relationship. What I was say. If he can't, if that man or woman can't grow some balls and get out of that relationship, yeah. then you're stuck in it. Not right. only that, I feel like if it wasn't for like a girl like me back then who was getting with a man who was in an arranged marriage, if it wasn't for girls like me, they wouldn't be saying. Mm-hmm. It's because like people make it comfortable for them to be in this arranged marriage. But still do what they want. Yeah. If they don't get that, then they'll be like, wait, I need to actually get out of this because it's becoming so yeah. miserable for me living with someone, not getting that kind of feeling of, you know, lust and excitement. Exactly. And, and yeah. Literally knowing that you can't have your cake and eat it too. Yeah, exactly. But that, the world is not going that way because women are becoming more and more easy every yeah. day. Yeah. Unfortunately. Stop it. Stop. <laughs> Just stop being so easy. Stop it. Yes, yeah, true. Have fucking standards. We'll talk about this on a catch-up. I have yeah. so much to talk about on a catch-up. Ooh, we'll save that. Yeah, I'm saving it for Patreon. And don't say we do all our catch-ups on Patreon because we don't, because we did a, a catch-up last episode. So and don't we just like, kind of caught up at the beginning of this episode. Yeah. Anyway, next one person sent in. Once I dated a guy from work for a short while, he would try and make me drink alcohol, but I had never tried it in my life and I didn't want to as it was against my religion. I really liked him... And after many digs, digs and patronizing behavior from him, I gave in and took a few sips. I feel so guilty afterwards. It taught me that I should always do what I feel comfortable doing and not to do something because someone made me feel stupid over it. It made me question myself massively, massively and I began to think I wasn't as strong-minded as I thought I was. Oh, that makes me sad. I know. What a fucking scumbag. I know. Do you know what? I've dated many, many guys. I always make myself sound like a hoe, but I'm not. <laughs> okay, I don't mean many, many. Anna, I you're dated 32 years old. Like I know, but you know when I say many, many guys, it sounds like I've been with 100 guys, but I haven't. Dated. dated. Oh, you have dated many guys. Many, Dating. Many Muslim guys that yeah. like don't drink alcohol. Long relationships with them. Actually, two of my longest relationships were Muslim guys that didn't drink alcohol or eat pork. And I never, ever tried to force them to drink alcohol or anything. Like, the- oh gosh, she makes me sound so bad because, mate, I was definitely not that. I was obviously... Really? I yeah. never did. I never did. I just let them get on with their own life. I was. I, I did say... How I mean- are you going to eat my pussy, bro? But not do a shot. Allow it. Do the shot. <laughs> do, do the shot. You can't. Or you'll never get between my legs again. <laughs> like, no. do the fucking shot. The most I would ever say would be like, it would be fun if we did have drinks together. Like, but that's just my opinion. Like, it would have been... The relationship would have been fun. That's my opinion. Like, as in, you know, it would be nice if, we used to go on, if we'd go on a date and we could both have drinks together. Yeah, it's nice if you weren't so boring. At the beginning of, like, you know, a relationship where you go out and you get drunk is, like, the funnest thing yeah. ever. Um, but, yeah, no, I never... I just don't think it's nice. Like, that's their religion. That's their choices. Respect it. Yeah. You should respect it. 100%. Well, you're not for you. you know? Well, I didn't respect it because, like, you just can't pick and choose. Not pick and mix. It's not a Harry Potter role. Like, if you, I felt like if you're here and you want to have sex with me and you're seeing me like you can drink you're well, already doing because something. I think people have like struggles with yeah things. all right I've got struggles too I want to have fun on my day like it's long <laughs> <laughs> like you don't bore me well man these characteristics are coming out now I, don't be boring and it's embarrassing when I lose my shit when I'm drunk and I'm just like all over the place verbal diarrhea and you remember everything the next day <laughs> and you're walking talking straight and you're like you did this huh? no I can't be the guy that doesn't drink and now I'm with someone who drinks too much. <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> That's what you get. Um, anyway, I feel bad for this girl. Like, you should never yeah. actually do... Whatever Mandy says, 
about like, you know. We should be more like men. You can't convince a man to do shit. You cannot convince a man to do anything. I swear to God. You try dating a Muslim guy that doesn't drink, has never tried alcohol in his life. Try and make him drink. Impossible. He could be obsessed with you. He's not going to do it. He's not going to do it. And I know, but I think a lot of girls wouldn't do it as well. I, I don't think she should feel guilty. Women need to be more strong. Be strong. Learn from this woman's mistake. It happened. But you don't become strong without getting broken. Like, mm. people... This has made you stronger. That's what I'm saying. Lessons in life you think make I haven't you... done things that I don't want to do? You 100%. I haven't been persuaded or influenced? Yes, 100%. I have. Yeah, and me. I have. Everyone. And then it, you grow into this greatness yeah. of, like, you cannot... You 100%. cannot influence me to do anything now because yeah. I've been there, I've done that, it ain't fucking happening again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so basically with this, this was your lesson. Do you see what I mean? Like this is what's made you stronger. Maybe for someone else, it's something else. But it's always going to be something in life that makes you more stronger. They're like, I'm telling you, probably everyone, if not 99% yeah. of people have been persuaded, you know, into doing something An they didn't want to do or yeah. did something that they weren't 100% comfortable doing. Yeah. You know? I feel like you trying that alcohol... Um, and realizing how it made you feel is so important. And if anything, if I was a religious person and I was going to be speaking in a religious aspect, I think God is forgiving. Would, would love you more because he would love your, your sort of impulsive reaction, emotional reaction to doing something which is sinful. Does that make sense? I don't know about that, but I think God is all forgiving. It's not forgiving. It's more than that. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is like, by you doing that and feeling, you know, you feel bad after you used to always say this yes, to yes, me. Yes, you yes, say, man, do I you know how I know you're a good person because you feel bad about it. You feel guilty. A bad person doesn't feel anything. Doesn't feel anything. Yeah. So God loves you more because of your emotional yeah, 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 response yeah. to that I, sin I get or you, whatever I get. it is. Obviously, it's a sin to you, but like, he, God will love you even more. I get you. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Yeah. So you mean like the 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 how you feel after doing it because you feel so bad and you're honest with yourself about it. You know, like not trying to brush it away or ignore it. Yeah. You're honest with your feelings. So if you do believe in a higher higher power, that higher power would love you even more for that. And also, I think God is very forgiving as long as yeah. you know what you've done is wrong and you're like, you know, sorry. Yeah, I'm planning on going to heaven. I've done a lot of shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next one is I have a forever fantasy of getting licked out accidentally whilst getting a full body massage. I met a few people on Craigslist, with brackets now no longer exist, who did this for me. I have the same fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> really? So it's, not, so it's not just me. Well, then. this person actually went and got this experience this through Craigslist. You can actually do that? Yeah, but Craigslist. Craigslist? It's, I think it's an American thing. I think it's like, I think it's. Is it like Gumtree? I don't know. It's not like Gumtree. Craigslist was this an American thing where people put up like looking for someone to, you know, there's weirdos out there like looking yeah, for someone I, to... No, no, no. I'm to, not scared of that. Well, looking for someone... a serial killer or a rapist. Yeah, but that's why I think they, they took it down because people would be like, I'm looking for someone to chop my arm off and eat it. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. What is this Craigslist? Or oh, it's like looking for someone to eat. <laughs> Anna, sort? you're acting like this is this is not, yes. what is this that you're talking about? Yeah, people are like people actually have fantasies of being eaten, and there's people that have fantasies of eating people, and I'm like, just, uh, and they put themselves up for like yeah, cannibalism. Yeah, there's all sorts of people out there. Weird shit. Right, well, but I also, I think being up there. I think it was used for like you know really bad things as well, like trafficking and all sorts. But anyway, she just wanted a, a sexy massage. I mean, it's more than a sexy massage, to be honest. She wants to get accidentally licked. It's not going to be accident, though. because no, it's, uh, it's, no, it's like, I don't know, you're going like this. And then slowly. And then like, it's not start accident. massaging it with, with your face. head. And then your face. Okay, so I'll take my fantasy. I've always had this fantasy, yeah? So every time I get a massage, I'm going to get really hot. Eh? Because you know, our nerves, or most of our nerves are on our skin. Men don't understand this. So I want to teach the men that are listening to this. Mm -hmm. You know, touch is very important for women. Like, actual touching the yeah. body, different parts of it. Yeah. The shoulder, the neck, the yeah. waist. Yeah, 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 yeah. The bum cheek, the, the hip. Neck. Yeah, 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 the hip. We are very sensual. Yeah. We like to feel it. Yeah, but I don't know about horny wild massage. That part, I, get very, I don't uh, get with I you. I do, man. But, um, what if it's some, like, woman? And my eyes are closed. I'm asleep, mate. Yeah, but you can feel a woman's hands, no? And you I just know it's a, a woman. A woman can give me an orgasm, bro. But it's a woman. 
As in, like, personally, like, I mean... It could I'm, be an obese, ugly guy. If I'm getting... If our eyes are closed and I'm, my face is down... If so I, you mean your imagination believes it's someone else? It's almost like wet dreams. Like, you're not even thinking about the person or you're not thinking about anything. It's just a, because my brain don't work like that. Once I know who's doing the massage, that's it. I know who it is and that's oh, it. Like, I'm not like that. Not at like, all. Unless I pretend no, it's not that. I don't that. need to think of... It doesn't even need to be a human. It could be a plastic toy that's massaging good, my right? body. It's good that you're, like, a sexually kind of, like... Quite it's like it's like saying, yeah, if, if there's like a robot in the room, a robot, not a human, a robot yeah. massaging my body. I can't. I can still get aroused from the, the sensation. You know, I can't. It it's has not... to be a person that you find attractive. That's so strange. Yeah. I'm weird like that. So like, let's say if you have a wet dream, is it because of you've had a dream of someone? Because I don't even remember my dream. I, I haven't even had a dream. I just No, but my wet dream is just different. I have no control over it. But with my thoughts, I can't... I've got too much control over my... I can't just like... I can't no, explain I it. I like, I have no control over my dreams. Whatever happens, happens. And then if I have a wet dream, yeah. I have a wet dream. In real life, I, my brain works weirdly. Like, if I know really? who it is... Yeah, like, I can't switch off knowing who that is. And it's just like... I can completely, like, switch off to the point where... It's a sensation. It's just a it's just a physical sensation. There is no person. Like, yeah, there's no relation to any person. That's good. It's, like men. it's good that you've got lots of It's like men. Men are like that. Okay. Anyone can can like, yeah, you can yeah, touch yeah, yeah, a man yeah, yeah. and he'll get aroused and he'll come. It could be they've closed their eyes in a dark room with nice smelling aromas. Yeah. It could be anyone and the man would have an orgasm. I mean Unless it's a man. But man, like a straight man, would get way more turned off by another man. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? No. Like a straight man mm -hmm. probably wouldn't get aroused if another straight man... He wouldn't be able to switch off. Like he'd be thinking, oh my God, it's a man massaging me, a man massaging me. Right. But like, I don't feel like with women, it's that much of a like, oh, like, do you know what I'm trying to say? No, I I think girl, like I can watch lesbian yeah, porn. So I can be... I. It's not that. It's just... The w it's not even that that I don't find women are attractive I think where they are I'm not, not I'm, I am straight <laughs> but like I do think women are sexually attractive yeah but you know the women I mean? that are massaging me are not exactly my type yeah do you know what I mean like if I was I know even like, to be a lesbian I wouldn't be going I know some, like like older women I know like, you're not seeing that woman as an attractive you're switching off whereas yeah. I can't switch off why are we going around in circles okay I get you I get you okay, it's anyway. like men that men in the Middle East that are like having sex with donkeys they're obviously switching off. They're not thinking, oh, nice donkey, oh, nice donkey <laughs> ass. <laughs> Those are lovely donkey ass. Yeah, They're not. They're completely good. switching off. That means you have the power to switch off, which is mad for someone that can't control their thoughts in every other I know, aspect. I have <laughs> such bad OCD. <laughs> but anyway, go on. Tell me, so tell me about anyway. your fantasies. So anyway, then like, because I'm, I'm like sensitive, my skin's sensitive and everything, I can get in the mood and then when they're massaging around my thighs and I'm massaging around my bum, I'm like, just be a freak. Be someone who's a criminal and just go on my vagina. Just go on the vagina part. <laughs> just go there. I won't say anything. I won't say anything. Sometimes I just move a little bit. Just... I just move a little bit. I feel so sorry for anyone that's ever massaged you. And then I was like, okay, I have to get a happy ending massage. Yeah. Yeah? Right. I don't give a fuck who it is. I close my eyes. I'd rather it not be a guy, actually. Do you know why? I'd yeah. rather it be a woman. Right. Because I don't want anyone to get any sexual gratification apart from me. Why? You're such a selfish sexual pers I don't person. Li <laughs> I don't like, like men that much. I mean, I don't want to give him some, a man the satisfaction of like having fun with me. I won't be able to concentrate on my own. Right. But if it's a woman, an older woman who's just doing her job... Man, we don't, do we don't you know about what her. you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> do you actually know yeah. what you're saying? So anyway, this podcast? I want a happy end. I've said this as a gingerbread. I used to always want a happy ending. Okay. And it would be really, amazing because it would just be I'm like sweating. <laughs> I don't sometimes think you realize what you're saying on the podcast. You're saying, I don't even want to repeat it. But anyway, <laughs> I'm sure there's other people out there who wanted a happy ending massage. No, I get people wanting a happy ending massage, mm. but the you're saying that you want it from a woman that you I'd don't rather, find sexually attractive. Yeah. And yeah, I, I don't want it from a sexually attractive woman. That's weird. Like, I just want it to be just, you're like a robot. Okay, you want it from a robot, maybe. There are no robots <laughs> that do that, but maybe if there would be, that would be a great thing. Well, because no one would be cheating. Everyone would be going and getting massages that have happy endings and it's not cheating. I don't know. How would you feel about Gingerbread getting it from a robot? I consider it cheating. <laughs> <laughs> what, an actual, what if it was like a metal thing? I don't care. That's a metal being, thing. You're being sexual with something else. 
Whether they're, that, they're not. They're just lying there and getting tossed off. Yeah. I would get pissed off as well. Oh, yeah. I don't even like, <laughs> I don't like gingerbread even tossing himself off. <laughs> I don't, you're, if you're cheating, if you touch yourself, like, imagine being that level of possessive. I don't know, that's extreme. Yeah, I'm joking. No, he, he can do it with himself, but like, not a robot. R- robots. Yeah, but if he was like, that I'm robot, just going in the other room to wank. Just going in the other room to wank. No, you can't say it openly. Like, I don't want to know about you wanking. But with a robot... So would you be like, I don't want to know about it. You can go to the robot. I don't no, want to know about it. No, the robot is considered cheating. <laughs> robot equals <laughs> cheating. Yeah? That robot's getting smashed to pieces. It's true, because what if they made a really hot robot? Well, that is the future. Like, that what is the future? Like, all these Why AI... Why not robot? <laughs> all these AI stuff. Do you not think that's the future? There's going to be, like, yeah. robot sex. My mind's going to start rumping and shumping and, you know, with a robot. Rumbling yeah. around with a robot. Fuck that. That's cheating. That's cheating. I don't give a fuck if, if it's electrical wires within her. Him, yeah, whatever mark it is. Mark my words in the future, there's gonna be like, my boyfriend cheated on me with AI. A robot. AI robot. I'm so glad I'm not gonna be here in the future. I'm gonna be dead. <laughs> I'm so glad and there will be no descendants after me. We have enough to deal with with men cheating with other women. Now and we're other gonna men. bring robots? Now you wanna bring robots into the picture. Fuck that. There's a lot I wanna talk about about men and cheating actually. It's gonna go on my catch up, all okay. right? You better listen to that. Should we go move on? Yeah, that was a really good one. Well, anyway, this, this woman made her question her character. I don't think you should question your character about I don't that. question my character But about I think that. what she means is she actually went and done it because she said, I found oh, people. good for you. <laughs> good, go, go. You should have what Lana Del Rey said in that song. You should f- fulfill all your fantasies. Mm. Okay. I don't agree with that, actually, yeah? Fulfilling all your fantasies. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't agree with that. Don't. Don't be a... What is it? Don't be someone that just goes for all kind of lustful temptations and desires yeah. and experiences and curious yeah, and I, mean, I want to experience this I want to experience that no, next something thing you know you're a crackhead that's been rammed by 10 guys in one night yeah yeah anyway, anyway <laughs> next, next one okay so my friend came to show me her new car she was so excited about Ooh. We went out, but there was a snowstorm, so I just had a quick glance and we went back to work. We worked at the same location at the time. I ended up leaving work early and then ended up reversing into her car accidentally. I panicked and drove off. She called me after work crying and having a breakdown, telling me someone hit and run hit and run her brand new car. To this day, she doesn't know it was me. I was 19 at the time and she was 22. We don't really keep in contact anymore, but I still feel really guilty and think about telling her it, the guilt is eating me alive. How, Why is your face like that? How many years ago is this? I don't know, but do you, I don't think you should tell her. It's done now. Don't tell her. Bro, you did that to your grave. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, Mandy? I have a confession. What have you done? This is something similar to what I've done that made me question my character. What have you done to me, man? Not you. But anyway, years and years ago, um, when we lived with mom and dad, do you remember my little gold box of Astra? Yeah. So one of our aunties came and stayed over and she put her car in, in our driveway. Yeah. And I was parked like, so this is her car and I was parked here on the re- drive, on the I road. I think I was with you, Anna. Huh? No, you in, weren't. I was in the car on my own, right? So anyway, I reversed accidentally into her car and I didn't know what to do at that point. I was broke. I had no money. Like, and I didn't know what to Like, there was Which like the smallest was little fucking mark on the car. And I was like, fuck, what do I do? Like, did they clock I, it? So imagine this is the most, it's not just the what made me question my character. It's actually the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me. Because I pretended it didn't happen. I went off, came back. Then my auntie came out and she was like, what's happened to my car? Wow. And like I had mentioned it before. So I like I came back at home, had dinner with her, didn't mention anything. She my came out gosh. and she said, What's happened to my car? And at that point I had to admit because like I think it was in this in a way where it couldn't have been anyone else but me. Anyway, yes, that's what it was. I was in the driveway and she was out. So for me to get out, I didn't realize uh, I didn't realize her car was blocking me. Yeah. She should have blocked the driveway then. Anyway, whatever. Basically, cut long story short, she found out and I told her and I had to like save up money to pay her. But it was really oh, horrible. She charged you. Well, of course she did. She had to go get it repaired. What you said it was a minor scratch. She should have let it slide. Yeah. So basically, that whole situation made me really ca- question my character. Her for all these years. Why? I always thought, am I a bad person? Like, because you were willing to lie, willing to get away, like try and get away with it. No. no. I mean, I feel like. I feel like I've probably done things like that. People yeah, do things and lie to their parents. Like it's like lying to your parent. Like you don't want them to know that you lost something. But or lying broke something. to your parents isn't going to affect them. But this would have affected her. She would have lost money. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, it's not a nice thing to do. And I'm just I, really I think you're I, overthinking. I, it. I find myself. I actually do think that I'm a really good person. Like because I genuinely believe I am a good person. But when yeah. things like this happen, I'm like happened when I was young. Yeah. What I put 
I was selfish. I put myself first because like, obviously I didn't have, if I was had the money, I wouldn't have done that. Yeah. But I was going through a stage of my life where I had no money. Money over everything. <laughs> I'm saying like, <laughs> money over everything. But yeah. Um, I just feel like I've never, I've probably done things like that before. I've probably done things like that to you. Probably broken something of yours and been like, I'm Excuse trying to me? think. Have I? No, I've, I've remember there's been a few times I've had to confess to you that I've like lost something or broken something, and it was very hard for me. But I always told you. Yeah, but if you have you got any secrets that you want to tell me now? No. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, anyway, for this person, don't tell her this. You don't even speak to her anymore. Fuck yeah, it. Who gives a shit? I mean, she got money for a brand don't new car. Don't feel guilty. Eat. Like shit happens. People make bad mistakes. Like, look, I just admitted to being a horrible person. No, you want some evil eye energy though. You better stay away. <laughs> All right, next one. Okay. This one says, I begged a man to call me and make time for me never again. Well, I think, yes. The question of your character. Your character was basic. Yeah. That's but, what it was. But you know what? I feel like every person goes through like basic stages. Yeah. Like whether like to the extreme of begging yeah. or to the like, diff there's different, different levels. Different levels of basic. Like I've definitely been basic at one point in my life. Yeah, 100% same. You, like being, like what we said earlier about making mistakes and lessons to become yeah. strong. Same thing in this aspect. You have to be basic to be a bad bitch. Yes. Um, at one point. At one point. Yes. I don't know. There is a type of basic though. Yeah, I get what you mean. That it's like you're born that way. You, you're either <laughs> born a doormat or a queen. You are a basic or you're bad. Like, you've never been basic to like a certain level that some girls have been at. Yeah, true. I've never accepted cheating. Never. never. But, um, or like someone that's not like, I don't know, I can't explain it. But the, I'm like, I you'd never beg someone to like, no, call but you. when I when like my one of my exes ghosted me, yeah, I sent him, I'll never forget, I sent him like three emails. So that's not, that's and like, I was in the emails, like, what's happened? Tell me, well, da, da, da. disappeared, disappeared literally overnight, mm. disappeared after a six month relationship that was so serious. Hmm. Girls would be outside their door. Yeah, true. Begging, crying, screaming. What are you talking about? I never That's did not basic. That. You never did that. Yeah, I was really close to going outside his door, but I didn't. You didn't do that? No. Nah. After like literally 24 hours, you didn't even do anything. You didn't even call or message or email nothing. I remember. No, I think I emailed for like three times between the space of two weeks. But I was like trying to chase an answer. Like I wanted to... Yeah, you wanted closure. Yeah, I wanted to know what happened. Yeah. But, yeah, no. Don't be basic. Trust me. The more you chase a guy, the more he's going to run away from you anyway. So, yeah, true. Literally, guys. Literally. Look, when I broke up, I said this before, when I broke up with Kazik those three months, the first two months, like, I replied to him, you know, you could tell I was hurting. As soon as I fucking blocked him on everything and I was getting on my life, living Wait, my best life, my he advice suddenly appeared. changed your life. Yeah, he appeared. And I'm, I'll never forget it, yeah? Yeah. I literally said to Anna, block him on everything. everything. Yeah. If he disappear, will... become a ghost. Yeah. I said to her, that when you're like this mouse, that like he dangles some cheese and you go for it. He dangles some yeah, cheese and you go for it. He texts me like, oh, oh, I'm not well. He texts me, just want to see how you are. I heard yeah. from, from Mandy and Gingerbeard that you know, you're not well. And I'm like, you know, texting back. Yeah, or that, like, even waiting two hours or waiting a day and texting him back. Bullshit. No, doesn't, doesn't work. Doesn't work. Doesn't like, work. I am unaccessible. You yeah. can't have a piece of me here and there when you want. It's either all of me or none of me. That's it. Mm -hmm. And as soon as... As I did that, he appeared. And when a man wants to find you, a way of contacting you, he will. Yes. Like, forget if I don't care. Yeah, if he, yeah. if he, girls always say, if I block him on Instagram, yeah, WhatsApp, whatever, whatever, he's not going to have a way of contacting me. Trust me. People contacting each other in the Victorian times. What are you talking about? <laughs> They're writing letters, mate. Yeah. He can't contact me. That's for the best. <laughs> but you need to move on with your life. And this advice goes to men as well who are taking, being taken for a, a fool by yeah. some women. Yeah, yeah, running yeah. Running rings yeah. around you. Like I said, if he wants to contact you he will like Kalsdick just turned up where I was he found out where I was and he turned up yeah. they will find a way anyway it's okay that you begged just don't do it again don't do it again don't be that girl don't, don't, don't do it right I remained friends with someone who assaulted my best friend <gasps> oh my god you know this is a really good one because <laughs> what do you do if your best friend beats up your best friend which best friend do you choose <laughs> is it the connection or how long you've known them or how close you are at that point who do you back up do yeah. you stay out of it? One of our best friends assaulted, our, assaulted, but slapped our cousin many years ago. Yeah. We locked off the cousin. <laughs> so it's like, do you know what I mean? It's a bit of an awkward Sometimes one. water's thicker than blood. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't question your character. It depends though how close that other person is to you. Because if they weren't really close to you and you're still friends with them after they assaulted your best friend, 
It's a bit sneaky, isn't it? Yeah. But what would you do right now, Anna, if your best friend got into a physical fight with your other best friend? But she's, or he, is not saying that my best friend assaulted my other best friend. They named it as my friend. I remained friends with someone who assaulted my best friend. Yeah. Best friend comes before friend. Yeah, and that's why there's a best there. And then getting assaulted... It's different from it's like, like a kicking off between two people. Yeah, that's like a next level. Like you actually went physical. Like that's fucked. Yeah, I don't know. I would like, you know, your lawyer has got to lie somewhere. You know, my recent caption is like, if you don't stand for anything, you fall for everything. Mm. Mm. You've got to stand for something. I've got so many good ones, but we're coming to the end of the episode. No! I've li- and I feel like the best ones at the end. I don't know Should why. Should we do part two? Part two somewhere? Yeah, definitely. We need to do a part two because there's so many good ones. It's really good. Yeah. The next one. Okay. Let me pick one. Because I've got so many. Asking myself if I should sleep with my teacher because I'm lazy and I need an A star. Ooh, let's do it, man. <laughs> Given that A1 pussy, I get an A star. Do you know what? I'll never forget, ever, and it's always stuck with me mm-hmm. as well, that when I was in school, I got taken out. Like, I got asked at the end of class, can Anna Hita stay behind? Bro, did you get... Like no, some pedophile try creep on you. No, 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 no. So I'll I stayed behind. But this is something that this is something that's always stuck with me. Anna, right? Did you get molested? No, but um, the teacher at the end when everyone left said to me, Anna, I need to speak to you seriously. Okay, you need to stop flirting with me. Oh my god, you're such a hoe. Yeah, and then I was like, What do you mean? He was like, You need to stop flirting. Like you flirting and make it's really uncomfortable. You need to stop. I think by him saying that he's flirting, I would take that as flirting. This, when you're telling me to stop flirting with you, I feel like you're flirting with me. This because was sixth form, so I was like eighteen. You definitely were 17, flirting. Seventeen, eighteen, seventeen. How old were you? Were seventeen, eighteen? No, fit? no, no, not for you. So what is chatting then? Maybe I was. I don't know. I think I'm a bit of a natural flirt. flirt. Do you know what I mean? Like so are you. I think that's a dangerous thing to say, though. Like, what? I think I'm a natural flirt, but I also think Cal's because, like, Cal's Cal's a natural flirt. I don't flirt. want someone to think, oh, I don't want Mandy to talk to my boyfriend, like, boyfriend because she's a natural flirt. Because I swear to God, if I'm speaking to, like, my friend's man, I will go Obviously. so... Obviously. Yeah, but then that's not a natural flirt. A natural flirt is, like, you're naturally flirting with everyone. Nah. I mean, like... You are not a natural flirt. You are purposely flirting with your teacher in sixth form, Anna. I don't know. Maybe. Because you become but... full-on sister mode... Homeboy yeah. mode when you're talking to like yeah. no, I'm your most, mate's man. I'm the most loyal yeah. person. But then girls that are like, I'm a natural flirt. I have girls that get accused I mean, of like, doing things like that. I mean like a natural flirt to like shop assistants or something. Like or a fucking teacher or like at bar. It's not a natural then. It's an intentional flirt. It's not. I'm just very much like giggly. Like ha ha ha. I can't explain yeah. it. You know what? Me, I'm not going to say I'm a natural flirt. I'm intentionally flirting. I'm a fucking good flirt though. I, there's no better one than me. No, oh, sorry. <clears throat> I remember my single days, going on dates. You know, my first dates. I'm a good fucking flirt. I know how to make a guy sweat on a date. Yeah, in me a good too, way. Me Give too. Him yeah, butterfly really sweat. stressing out. Yeah. Like he's on edge. I'm yeah. gonna bust up in his pants. Like I'm so good with the flirting as well. Yeah. I'm so witty. It must be the bikini jeans. Bikini jeans. Good flirts, good kisses. I just know what to say. Like one of um, this little boy that works with us, he was like, "So, like, do you, would you ever have an open?" But he's like so young. He's like, would you ever have an open relationship with Ginger? Be like, would he ever like let you like be with another guy? And I was like, "Why are you interested?" <laughs> <laughs> and the eye contact game was strong. Um, <laughs> it's all about anyway, eye contact. Yeah. At least I know I still got it. Yeah. So, I mean, this person, you shouldn't question your character for thinking like about sleeping with your teacher. Yeah. Just sleep but, like, with him. Just don't, no, but just don't do it. Don't do it because it's a crime, no? Yeah. The guy will go to like prison or the girl will go to prison. Yeah. Whoever's sending. Oh my God, do you know what? I had a manager when I worked in like Harvey Nichols hmm. and I used to always want to like get with this manager. Why? He was like the floor manager. I don't know. So that you can get like extra sick days or holidays. I just like, if it's a challenge, and I, I want to achieve the challenge to prove to myself I am that bitch. I remember when we used to work when we were younger and we used to work in Boots on the weekends and you used to fancy the manager of Boots as well. I you were obsessed so with him and he was like this like, he had an accent An-Italian and he was like proper guy. geeky. Yeah, anyway. He was like some so geeky with pharmacist. The man, with the manager at Harvey Nichols, yeah. He had a reputation anyway for sleeping around. So I was like, Definitely, I can get in there. And I remember once, like, I emailed him because obviously I don't have his number or anything. So I emailed him. And um, then what happened? I don't know what happened, but I got back with my boyfriend at the time. Do you think he would have gone there with you? 
I don't know, maybe if I caught him outside of work, maybe. Anyway, my boyfriend at the time, I once was like acting really paranoid because he was psycho and was like, let me go through your phone, let me go through your emails. And then boy, the way I hid my emails. Why? Because you just... Because that you email, email. What did you email? Something them? raunchy. What? I don't remember, yeah. Some naughty You're shit. You're joking. Yeah. Anyway, wow. I know he wanted to, but he's just scared of getting sacked. But you said he slept around. He had a reputation of sleeping around. And he so got sacked from like Harrods for doing that. So then he came to like Harvey Nichols. So he was like scared of doing that. Oh, uh, I think I remember this story. I remember. Yeah, anyway. Anyway, guys. Don't feel guilty. <laughs> <laughs> don't feel guilty. For, we all have these like weird, crazy thoughts. Yeah. And we've all done things that have questioned our character. I have so many here that I'm going to say for... Part two. Part two, because we haven't got time I to go I still want to do the horror movie thing. Not horror movie, horror story one. Yeah, that was, that was so, so fun. fucking jokes. People are moaning about it. Like, oh, episodes aren't the same anymore. But I had so much fun doing it. I feel like sometimes the episodes we enjoy doing the most... People don't enjoy watching. Yeah, but people enjoy the catch-up ones, but maybe we don't as much enjoy, enjoy them. them. I mean, I do ca- enjoy catching up. I do enjoy catching up, but like, I enjoy going through people's dilemmas. I feel and like stories also sometimes and... I feel like our catch ups can get a bit repetitive because it's the same shit. We're in the same relationship, same shit going on. Like, if something different happens, it, yeah. Like, I don't know. You know, when your man misbehaves, there's more content for the catch up. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And we want them to behave. And then when they do behave, there's less content for the catch up. Not really. If they were amazing, like, let's say to- from tomorrow, like Ginger Bidding House, they became these amazing boyfriends and they started doing these amazing things for us, we'd have a lot to talk about. It just never really happened. It doesn't happen. They're just yeah. the same, like, mediocreness. But I don't think people get bored of our, like, same repetitive bullshit. bullshit. Oh, well, don't worry. I think Ginger is going on a stag do in, like, the summer. Mandy's already started moaning about it from now, yeah, about this whole thing. But anyway, we'll talk about it in the catch-up. We love you guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment on our YouTube. Every subscriber. share, share, share. Yeah, like honestly, it means so much. Like we're trying to grow our YouTube channel. So like, please subscribe. And if you want to catch us on Patreon every Thursday, we have an extra episode every other week. So make sure you do that as well. We love you. And we'll be back next week. Bye. Bye.